Now, off camera, I actually went back to the cave where we fought that dragon to get the Diviner's Altar, picked up the evil idols and the steel door from there. Those will come in handy a bit later. And as for now, while we can go get the Banner of Hope, I want to take some time to properly rebuild the castle, at least most of it. Oh, Pastor Tannigal, Volume 6. At long last, I've arrived at Tantigal Castle. Off did I dream of this moment during my grueling journey from Catelyn. And yet my dream has become a nightmare. The rumors were true. There's not death left in this place but darkness. There's not left in this place but darkness and death. With the bright and bustling in the city of Tantigal, what is the jewel of all Alfgar, nary a trace remains. However, there is one man who dwells here still. He whose shoulders... And he who... He on whose shoulders the hopes of people of all Alfgar are rested. The hero whose fateful shrug ushered the land to its doom. What, what use have I of this information? I have not the strength to continue my adventures any longer. I have reached my destination, and here my journey must needs end. If thou, if thou who readest these pages dost follow my journey from Calvin, I say this to thee. If thou didst take some comfort or understanding from my words, then mine arduous journey was not in vain. For that, thou hast my thanks. Finally, I would offer thee a word of advice. If ere light is returned to this land of darkness, the banner of hope that was stolen by the monsters must needs be recovered. The fiends have locked it away in the newly built fortress to the south of these ruins. The numbers are formidable and the defense is strong. To have any hope of success, thou must needs be prepared for a battle like never before. O oh, brave adventurer, thou who dost follow in my footsteps, restore Tantadel through the light, and let Alfgard rise again. Sir Reginald Augustus Grains, Cantalus Brigade of Gods. Well, what I want to do is actually... Great bunch of castle foundations to begin with. I'm just gonna I'll put block put the foundation blocks on all the gray stones around the area, except for up here for the time being, as well as a couple of others. Well, in terms of foundation stones, let's go ahead and make let's go ahead and start with 40. Don't want to don't want to eat them all up just yet. All my stones. That should be enough for the perimeter, or most of it anyway. And while it does fill in the holes in the walls, it is very worth it. Yeah, just it's nice to have these little guy lines, including along here. Just yeah, ev everywhere there's a gray block. Put a foundation block there. I'll hold off on that spot on there until we're tasked to build something there. Uh, for right here, you may be tempted to not put anything there because there is a blueprint we have to build around here later. The walls are more important. We can tear them down and rebuild them as part of the blueprint. Okay, yep, I do not have enough foundation blocks. That's okay. And the blueprint for the Diviner's Altar Room, that is one of the first ones we have to build. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now. And it looks like another 30 foundation blocks will, will suffice. And as for the castle walls, thankfully I can just uh, turn the, just place earth and use cladding. Same with the, same with the tile floors. So again, a little pre a little preparation will go a long way. In fact, I'm gonna take these wooden doors. I'll be replacing them with magic doors later. I actually missed this spot. Yeah, I'll, I'll fill that in later. The the main the main gate is gonna go there. But here's the here's the annoying thing is. The gate, there are no doors that are exactly three spaces. You got at one, two, or four. And it just doesn't fit. I mean, it, it's the castle main gate. It should be heavily fortified with a steel gate like that, but it doesn't fit. It doesn't look symmetrical. And who designed this place? Because otherwise you just leave it wide open for monsters to come in later on. And I'm going to go ahead and put these down. Oh. I didn't notice I missed those. They were just hiding in the darkness. And yeah, th that spot will require use of castle tile too. And actually, now that I think about it, yeah, this does require part of the blueprint. So yeah, I just got ahead of myself. I will be able to adjust that later. 
but for, for the time being, I can create a crude kitchen with the brick barbecue in another room. Oh, well, rip that sledgehammer. I'll just build another one later. But for the stone, for the castle walls, well, I'm just gonna grab a few, turn those into cladding, and use earth instead. Oh, well, rip the colossal coffer. Shoot. I didn't think the strike would hit that. And for now, and of course, we want to build build all the castle walls three high. Let me fill this in as well. Miss that. Yeah, the music the music's gonna shift back and forth a little bit. Not enough space. Come on, I'm holding up. And this spot, yep, again, I'll fill in later. Now just get the perimeter. And also. I'll just say, oh, those are for windows later. <laughs> yeah, I got plenty of earth. Finish up. It's not hard to get more. Ah, look, looking better already. So I'll just have to. Make sure all the all the walls are high enough. Yeah, I can turn this this little room into a crude kitchen until I get the blueprint for the one I need. And if I am good, I'll be able to get the castle finished before or daybreak, or most of it. Of course, the other thing is about these castle tile blocks. And about, no, 11, 12. That was a bit more than I wanted, but that's just the way it worked. Yep. And of course, make another sledgehammer before I forget. If I can do this without filling it, I need to get more earth, that will be ideal. And of course, these will become rooms once I get doors and, sc and sconces for them. Okay, next question. Okay, so the castle cladding. Grab one more castle block really quick. Castle tilling, yep, three and three. And if I need more, I just break down on the new walls and <laughs> turn those into t things too. Okay, so one more thing. Yeah, let's just let's just play sconces for now because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn them into rooms with doors until after getting the banner of hope. There's no point in doing so ahead of time. And the other thing is we'll just turn that room into a crude kitchen. Th this room can pretty much be used to anything and you want it for later on. All right, let's go ahead and... Start turning them into castle tiles, make it start looking like an actual castle. Now, 
I'd say the one exception would be this room. That doesn't really matter. Because you can plant, you can put the mushrooms on earth or the castle tiles. And yeah, I pinch out one more. There we go. This room as well. Oh, I'm gonna have to make more. That's okay. And of course, the the trees are the one thing you do not want. Do not want to replace the earth tiles with. Okay, didn't quite make it before daybreak. That's okay. We're still making good progress. This is actually the easiest chapter to finish uh, before the challenge. As, as part of the challenge, because it gives you 30 days when 20 would be... Well, 20 would not quite be enough unless you do how to do everything perfectly. Yeah, 30 is very generous. You'll very likely finish this before 20, unless you just decide to mess around like I like to do. Okay, that was more than I needed. That's okay. Now, as for this spot, yeah, we do need to eventually replace this with just the carpet. Well, just a good idea to take out all the earth blocks. And we'll fill that in. That's another reason why I got those car that carpeting in the area with the Sword of Ruin. So I don't have to use any of my materials to make more. And this will help uh, restore our earth supply a little bit. Oh, the fancy carpet tiles and the regular carpet tiles. There we go. Oops. Too far over just a little bit. fill this in. Now I will fill in that wall a bit later. What, there are basically about uh, four blueprints in this chapter. Three of them are for rooms. One is just for an altar. And the castle is nice enough to just uh, divvy up the allocated rooms. Okay, so let's go ahead and Start turning these into actual walls. As well as putting it, throwing in some sconces or braziers to I just create some light. And where are my sconces? In the bag already. So while I'm here, it's a good time to now, I will not be turning this into a treasury just yet, but the chests I picked up... Yeah, a couple of them will fit. And the other thing is... Go ahead and uh, create, some, create the signs we'll need later for later, too. Hellbroth, that's the best thing to use for... Uh, food in this, so refills hunger, increases defense, but the frogs and newts are drops from other from, from enemies. They can be a bit of a pain to get. Yeah, I'm going to be turning this into ooh, a uh, I can't remember the exact name. But still need the still need a shop sign, one in sign, and a lady sign for later. Get those out of the way. And just put away things we don't need. I should have enough food to take care of my hunger needs for 
the big item grind sec of this section, because when we go get the the Banner of Hope, we're going to be getting Chimera Wings, Silk Shots, looking for more or Mushrooms and Frog Stools, all that fun stuff, hopefully all in one go. If you want to think about it, plant these other trees. And the last one, uh, Leather Sacks, where are they? There you go. I just need one. And of course the sign. There we go. I put the cladding away. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh good, I, w I wasn't expecting to get that part. Oh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. This one right here. Yep. Can't get them all. Not quite. That's that side of the castle done. Nice placement, so yeah, I'll need a I'll be needing a few more a bit later. Or I can just I can just build some from scratch. And yeah, that'll be enough for the trees. So let's go ahead and place sconces in the rooms that don't have them yet. Once I get doors, they will turn into actual rooms. And that's good enough for now. And if you want, to, if you want to be a little stylish, play some outside the castle gate. With that, I think we're ready to go material hunting. Good thing to actually. For that, I forgot to make, make another sledgehammer. <laughs> So on the plus side, uh, most of the material farming will be will be using the sword. Now's a good time to now get filled up, up from Mirlin. If I head the right way. And look at that, the castle's looking much better already. The walls are mostly rebuilt. And where's that dang Naviglobe? Actually, not the Naviglobe, the Teleportal. And here I was not long ago saying, oh, you can you can remove the sconces. There's the teleportal. <laughs> I'm gonna fight these guys on the way in, get some more Urgu. I may or may not need it, but you never know. In fact, the fur may be more important. Ah, I don't need to worry about you guys. I should have enough wood and stone for now. Let's retreat, heal up, and then head deep into enemy territory. And likely stay there for a good while. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and save in front of the castle, since it's on the way back. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, you talk too much, Merlin. But, as the book said, we are going to want to head back south, back into the realm of those wizards, those camps, frog stools, mushrooms. There should be chimeras near the coast. And then, of course, we get a raid a castle. So this is this is the fun part of the chapter. And the other thing to do is keep an eye on your bird's eye view, look for enemy camps. Because again, the treasures they drop will be gold, seeds of life, other other rare minerals. Yeah, this one I took care of. And I'm going to just kind of alternate between Getting frog souls and mushrooms based on the it's on the size of the of the deposits. Uh, 
I may lose a steel broadsword, but that's okay. So yeah, that castle is over there. Keep an eye out for any other enemy camps. As well as the wizards. And those bloody hands, yep, I want to get about 10 slimy sludges. And alternate between the mushrooms will we again we'll be needing some based on the recipes. Okay, so. Yep, didn't get this one. Oh, so another night. First, get these guys out first. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. I thought I got around him. Yep, with the ring of criticality, still not a problem. Oh, yay, chains. Our prize, gold. And they still shot, so hopefully we won't need more than 10, because you use these things to make banners. And they're actually, actually not that bad to make. There should be a tower. We can climb up where Chimera spawned. I do believe it was back over this way. Yep, I see a shadow. It's either the mountain or the tower. Oh! Wizard alert! Unfortunately, it's too dark to see him. Oh, that wasn't it. There we go. Actually, every so often, it's gonna throw some holy water, recollect some earth. Having a couple hundred on hand always helps in this chapter. Oh, in any chapter, really. Some more. Should be good on stone, but eh, that's a oh, just a big, what, just one big one. Oh well. Yep, that is a nice tower. Any chimeras? Ideally, a seat of life over here. Once again, darkest chapter in multiple ways. more bloodstone. There it is. Okay, yep. Found a chest. And fried frog meat. Not a seed of life, but if you need some extra food to keep your hunger meter full, there you go. So, no sign of chimeras, but I know where they are. There you are! You just gave away your position! Yeah, keep an eye out for any other enemy camps while heading back X south. Yeah, I can go back to the cave where I got that gold deposit. There should be some chimeras on the mountains over there. As well as our next slime buddy, so yeah, I can kill two birds with one stone that way. I see you there, wizard. Nice crit. A few more silk shots should be enough. Aha, some bloody hands brownies. Thank you. Yeah, Drakis, you're not really a threat anymore. It's 
sure the mushrooms? Yeah, I think we're good on those. Remember the guide that I read through when going for platinum said, Oh yeah, I got 30 of each. Well, that took a while. <laughs> Not the bloody hands of my target for the moment. Any other wizards? If you're lucky, both of them will show up around here. We need about oh, five, ten sledges. And uh, no sign of any other camps. Oh, I thought I heard this distinctive sound of a spell being cast. goes there? Are you a human? <laughs> Maybe not. This one smells different to the others. Whoever you are, what do you want? You want the banner of hope? <laughs> don't make me laugh. If you value your life, then get lost. But if you don't, then come on in. <laughs> so we've got to defeat 11 monsters in the castle. Let's grab another steel door. And this place is great for magic doors. As well as any braziers you may want, but at this point, I've already got enough braziers and sconces. The magic doors will fortify our castle, be more than enough for all the rooms inside it. And as usual, keep an eye for any other treasure. Draconic columns, we will be needing a few of these as well. And yeah, these skeletons are a little bit tougher than the others. They swing twice before or leaving an opening. Oh, and I have been surrounded. Yeah, the Ring of Criticality makes this much better. Have a Steel Broadsword at the very least. And last time I came through here, I had a heck of a time defeating all the enemies because I lost some. Iron ingots if you need some extras. And I'm going to thoroughly explore each floor while moving on. Again, we've got the doors. Need extra carpeting as well. That's all here. Well, uh, get, I guess the bench is considered a treasure to some enemies. Yeah, there are a few. There are a few chests in here. I'm glad I got made that extra sledgehammer. This one may not last for the end of the dungeon. You need stone steps. Here you go. Uh, evil visages, not necessary. Down he goes. Yep, down he goes entirely. Haha! Yeah, kind of sucks to be tall sometimes, doesn't it? Still easier than the one in the guarding the Sword of Ruin. Extra fur. And of course all these treasure chests will help decorate the castle nicely too, but you only need three. And if you're good, you can get them between swings, like so. And using the hammer on the magic drawers just makes it easy to tell which ones you've been through, which ones you haven't. But there shouldn't really be any monsters on the outside. Let's look for the quest markers. That'll give them away. And if you want some extra fortress blocks, well, you should be able to break down some parts of the castle. Okay, takes care of the second floor. Five left. Yep, pair of knights. Or draconic columns if needed. Nope! And nope again. Still that one got me. You want a couple of extra evil idols? There you go. And those will just be handy for... Uh, Outer, outer, outer wall defenses for the castle. Okay, so the top, the last three should be up top.
But I think that takes care of most of the treasure along here. There may be some in the ramparts. Yep. And just look, explore every nook and cranny. The game usually rewards you for doing so. So extra healing creams, 41. No complaints there. And I... How many Draconic columns did I pick up? Four? That should be enough. But then again, if I need to find the way up, pick up any more on the way. Yeah, there we go, the way up is through this door. Anything on this outer wall? And we got a boss troll in the stages, so yep. Boss troll oh, at the voice. Ouch. Shot me in the back. Go ahead and use this seed of life. Just uh, pop everything off. And yeah, they don't hurt too much, but they can't. The numbers will add up. Oh. Yeah, I'm having more trouble here than I did in the optional dungeon. There we go. Come on, crits, crits, crits. There we go. Nice buffalo shot of the troll for you guys. And with that, the two chests that were sealed on the way up, we can now open. Uh, night has fallen. Well, we should be back to the castle by daybreak. Or shortly thereafter. And yet, more than enough magic doors to fortify the castle. Knock these out. We finally got our banner of hope. Well done, my child. You retrieved the Banner of Hope, just as he said. You must return to Tantagel Castle and plant it in the heart of the ruins. Only then can the revival of Tantagel begin in earnest, and your sacred duty be fulfilled at last. And along with that, steel sabatons. So reduce fall damage. Not, not entirely negate them, but better than nothing right now. So two more silk shots of cloth. Get some chimera wings. And we'll be good to go. I can find my way, find my way back out. I'm lost. <laughs> and the front entrance, yep, was back this way. Unfortunately, all this nice lighting, we're gonna lose. Oh, hello. Yep, a few more of you. Oh, perfect. I'm getting more of these than I'll probably need. Now, the thing to do is, of course, I'm going to pick up the items I need. Of course, the usual 15 Chimera Wings and the other Silk Shots from the Wizards. Hopefully find it in a couple more enemy camps. But I do think I got them all. Uh, one, thing, one thing to do that I should have mentioned earlier is if you take an enemy camp, throw some Holy Water as a marker to say, yep, I got this one. Okay, that's actually leading me to the green Navaglobe. Oh. Try to get me from behind, are ya? Well, that's a sleeping she slime gave away your position. Just one more. I'm actually getting lucky with the silk shot drops. They aren't guaranteed. Of course, these guys do tend to also spawn pretty far away. And I should be okay with what I've got. I'm not going to look around too much. I do want to get to back to the castle before nightfall again. Just 
got to have the fun of fighting chimeras. Yep. These guys have the double swing. Still not a problem. And I don't think I caught... I don't think I took that camp. Oh, if we have to take all the enemy camps before we get... And defeat the main tank without it healing up, well, we're playing the wrong game. Come on, Ringer Criticality. I picked you up for a reason. Hopefully that's the seed of life. It is. And day is breaking. And fortunately, there's there's the next slime slime spot, which will be good because the chimeras will be on top of the mountain. And I'm gonna check these caves on the way in. Uh, I should have enough gold, but a little extra silver won't hurt either. Use up the rest of the sledgehammer. I should have enough ivy as well. Oh man, is that a, is that a cramped entrance or what? Oh, empty deposit. Ah. I feel robbed. I mean, I mean, look at that. It's well hidden. It's a narrow, oh, narrow entryway. I just get nothing. There was one more over here, and one more on the side of the slime spot. Ah, here we are. Oh, even better. Silver and the treasure chest. I will gladly heal with that seed of life. Yeah, since you don't have, actually have a lot of story quests, even what, after you get the castle built, most of your seeds of life are going to come from these little side trips, side quests. I know of at least one more inside a cave. Now, let's go ahead and... This may or may not have been the same cave I checked earlier. That doesn't look like it. Since there was that little jump. Little jump in. Okay. Yeah, we'll finish up this sledgehammer. At this point, we do want a little bit more silver than gold. Oh, well, there goes that sledgehammer. I hope it would last a little longer than that. Oh, I can always make one more. Oh, so long, Torch. I got four more, that's more than enough. Here we go. Nice little deposit. All right, let's go ahead and pay a visit to that other slime and finally fight some chimeras. Okay, so 14 nuggets of silver plus whatever I had. That should be enough. Oh, ah, the climbing controls on this are just so wonk. Plenty of chimeras. And we want to use Earth for this. <laughs> My granddad told me something. He said this world used to be really bright and sunny. But what does sunny mean, human? <laughs> so in this case, we need to plant a daffodaisy bud. Use that. Oh, and properly dig it up. 
Yeah, show it. Ooh! Is that what the sun looks like? It's so small, but it's really gorgeous! I wish the whole world could be as sunny as this little flower. Just like it used to be. Ah. <sighs> well, clouded memory. We'll be needing that for later as well. How many magic drawers do I get out of the one? 21! <laughs> All right, let's get some Chimera Wings and finally move on with the main meat of the chapter, restoring the castle. And we need 15 of these as usual. Let's see if we can get lucky with our spawns, but... We shall see. Probably the best thing to do is, well, ideally, go away from the where the brownies are spawning, but no, uh, they keep popping up. Maybe we're just heading the wrong way. There we go. Yep, already having better luck with these things than I did when I grinded for wings in chapter three. Oh, nice crit. Well, extra fur. Don't really need the extra sacks, but we got plenty of room. And I want to try and do this before running out of hunger. Before getting hungry. That will just depend on, a, on some luck. Unfortunately, the brownies and hammer hoods are eating up the spawn points. That just tend to go. Hopefully we get feathers instead of fried egg instead of eggs. Thank you. Oh, there's the monster egg. Two monster eggs in a row. So lucky yet unlucky at the same time. Oh three! Yet! That's such a good start too. Oh, uh, hopefully we'll be back by daybreak. Now, I honestly couldn't tell you off the top of my head if you use a Chimera Wing before planting the Banner of Hope, will it take you back to base? I honestly don't know. There we go. Well, at, least, at least we're starting to see Isam on the way in. Yep. Couldn't hide from me. Yeah, more fried eggs. Okay, there you are, there you are. Excellent, excellent. We are on pace. Unfortunately, these guys are just spawning almost all away from the screen. At the far end of the screen every time I look. And unfortunately, with Nightfall, it's going to make it a little hard to get them, but we're already two-thirds of the way there. Oh, well, we're doing pretty good for a while on the Chimeras. Oh, don't you go anywhere. Don't knock me off, either. I aim should be better than that. Be another fake block, yep. Yeah, if they're standing out in the open like that, they're usually fakes. Ah, here we go. Ooh, ouch. Climbing controls. Oh, one more. One more and I can retreat. Ideally get healed by the princess. Hey, 
Thank you. We are good to go. So that should actually take care of most everything we have to do in this area. We got the Banner of Hope, we got uh, plenty of materials, and we still have two full areas left to check. We're not quite halfway done with this chapter. And at this point, uh, while I'm back at the castle, I'm going to just create a few more... Well... Okay, I've got a couple options. I got plenty of earth, and plenty of cladding. I'm gonna follow the Navigo back. Ooh. Yeah, might as well pick these up on the way that I missed. Put away the stuff we don't need, but uh, yeah, the f I can fry the eggs a bit later. So as I mentioned earlier, it it just looks weird, but on the, on, at the same time, the magic doors are great for defense. So yep, it's asymmetrical. Drive you crazy if you have OCD, but at the same time, a lot better than nothing. But this will be perfect. I can get it back. Since it's daytime, I can get back. Heal up. Come back and well, the castle will be officially re rebuilt. After I plant the banner. Now, where's the teleportal? <laughs> I, keep, I keep losing it. There we go. Actually, this is actually a good time to do this. Since the castle's about ready, let's just bring the blue navigo back over here. Perfect. <laughs> no more getting lost 200 yards away from our base. Okay, we're full health. Yep, our quest is about ready. Just got to plant the banner. And I shouldn't need to use any more holy water either. Yeah, 99 is more than enough unless you really decide to go all out gathering materials or just purify everything. And save. And we will get to enjoy my favorite home base theme in the game. The Tantagel Castle theme. I love this arrangement. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. Diana, my child, you have done well. These ruins will now serve as your base, from which you will embark on your final mission. Only by the power contained within you, the powers you create, can the sacred duty be fulfilled. The first part of this duty is to oversee the reconstruction of Tantagel Castle, that it might serve as a haven for humankind. And the latter part is this. Rebuild the legendary weapons and armor that were lost in the darkness so long ago, and the holy crystal required to reach the Dragonlord's castle. Return this land to the way it was before the Dragonlord's latest curse upon it. Do this, and your role in this world's revival will be complete, and Alasgard's salvation will be assured. However, Diana, I must warn you once again. You are not the hero who is destined to defeat the Dragon Lord. Do not forget that. And remember, my child, that I do watch over you always. Well, people will start uh, gathering towards the castle now. Let's go ahead and turn these into rooms. Well, we have a marsh room. Treasure house. Empty room. 
Oh, this needs a chest. That's what it's missing. Do I have an extra one? I thought I did. No oh, blacksmith studio. Barbecue kitchen. Oh, monsters already, huh? Yep, they are kind of relentless in this chapter. Where's the lady sign? Fortunately, they can't do anything much, so empty room. And level two already! <laughs> and get to the usual. Yeah, once I build the, the Diviner's Altar room, that will easily provide defense for most everything. There is one monster that will show up at random and can create a huge dent in your base. It's really luck on if it shows up or not. And if I have an extra pot, I should have plenty. Yep. And we'll upgrade that one a bit later. So, private bedroom. And we'll give this to the princess. It's gonna be upgraded to a full-fledged princess bedroom for her anyway. And yep, look at this place. We got... We got people just standing around while the monsters are <laughs> attacking. By my head, what sorcery is this? Never before has my not been met with such brilliance. The brightest torch is but a flickering ember in comparison, and yet it is so soothing. Why, this light is of such perfect purity that even the mists that have long clouded my mind are beginning to clear. Now that my vision is unpeated, I will be able to see into my future and advise thee of the path that I must needs take to achieve thine all aims. aims. A thousand thanks, Diana. Verily, thine arrival was worth the wait. But the time for waiting is over. Come, let us rebuild the castle to its former glory. Once that is done, all that remains is to reconstruct the legendary regalia required to lay the Dragon Lord low. When that is done, the prophecy will be fulfilled, and thy sacred duty as the builder of Alfgard will be complete. Lady Diana, tis a pleasure to meet thee. Sir Tristian, knight of Tatagel at thy service. Thou art just as Sir Lance described. I thought that he jested when he told me of thy face, but it seemeth he spake sooth. So this is the face of the Builder. Verily thy vacant expression betokeneth one who is well apart from those around them. But the idea that the monsters would have ought to fear from thee is the very height of absurdity. <laughs> what sayest thou? Thou hast already dispatched a great number of formidable fiends? <laughs> How droll! I see the Builder's skills extend to the making of jokes. To return to the more serious matters, pray forgive my overdue introduction. I was late released from my stony prison and returned to Tantagel in night absence. He actually shows up when you get the base to level 2. And at the princess's insistence, I departed forthwith on an errand of the highest import. Though it is sadly delayed our meeting, my mission was a roaring success and I stand ready to make my report. Well, almost ready, my wanderings left me so sore that tired that I fear I am fit to swoon. I pray thee allow me to rest a while before I tell thee my tidings. Goodness gracious, what a warm and welcoming light! I am home at last! I thank thee, Diana, for bringing the light back to these ruins. Here, we shall rebuild this great city of Tantagel, the capital of all Alephgard. That is the sacred duty entrusted to thee by Almighty Rubus, is it not? Well, I shall help. I may not be a builder, but I am positively brimming with bright ideas. Here, Diana, pray accept this token as proof of our fellowship. I trust it will aid thee in thine efforts. Oh, strength ring. Very nice. And since we don't have to worry too much about fall damage for a little while... What is this light? And who is, by the goddess, tis the princess! Her majesty's returned to us! But what of thee, girl? Art thou a little not overly casual in the presence of thine elders and betters? What? Thou art the builder? <laughs> the one in whose house dwell the almighty power of creation? <laughs> a thousand pardons, my lady. I was frozen and stoned by Dragon Lord's curse and have only recently been released. I do not like coming. If I understand it correctly, thy role as builder is not that of a warrior, but more of a carpenter or smith of sorts. <laughs> Tis well that that is the case. If one so lacking in muscular might as thou were fated to face the Dragon Lord, all hope would be lost! I am Lance, Royal Guard of Tantagel. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance. But hold a moment. If it is not thee who is destined to face the Dragon Lord, then is it I? Oh, Rubus, preserve me! Now we got the first quest to do. Let's go ahead and get this one done first. Diana, every duty rests upon thy own shoulders. Thou must see to Tantagel's revival. 
As I had appointed seer, it's my duty to guide thee in thy quest. Before its fall, the castle had a chamber where soothsayers such as I could prognosticate in peace. It was known as the Diviner's Den, and I would have thee rebuild it. It is not solely for my own benefit, I assure thee. Had I access to such a chamber, I could see more clearly into thy future and divine the path thou must needs take to achieve thine homes. Over yonder would be a perfect site for it. Tis where the room was situated in Tantagel Castle of Old. Go, Diana. Follow this blueprint I've prepared for thee, and let the Diviner's Den live again. So, yep. Want to do this one first? It is a perfect fit. So, we need 20 castle foundations, 18 castle walls. And, yep, I'm going to have to make my own candelabrums. Wooden door and a chest. Okay. Two candelabrums and a chest. I'm going to do these uh, one at a time. Okay, 520, that should be enough. And, uh, yep, candelabrum. This is the primary reason for the sludge stones, and that should be all we need for the whole chapter. I've got the spare wooden door, and one chest. Yep, got exactly enough. And with this, no monsters will be able to easily get inside unless they blow the place open. Yep, you can get some rock bombs, who will be a bit of a pain. And he wants a wooden door, so we'll give him a wooden door. Oh, great, does have a magic door, or when the base levels up again. Hopefully I can do all this with no more than four claddings. And... Ah, oh, not quite. But... There we go. So we'll get you in place. And you. Well, that completes the blueprint, turns it into a Diviner's Den. And yeah, I need to build that extra sledgehammer. Just, just as I envisioned it! Thou hast built a Diviner's Den on my very own! Now I'll be able to devote myself into seeing thy future and predicting the path thou must take. Thy Builder's most sacred duty is to make ready the, this land of Alfgard for the day of the Dragon Lord's destruction. Firstly, thou must need, rebuild the means by which a warrior might fight my journey to the Dragon Lord's Isle of Evil, the blessed Rainbow Drop, which combines the twin power of sun and rain to beam forth a bridge of light. However, it is said that the materials by which it might be made are sealed away in the blackest pit and dankest recess of this accursed realm. As of this moment, I know not where that den of villainy might be found or what horrors await thee within. But know that I will devote myself to dividing its whereabouts forthwith and inform thee the moment I locate it. I will also endeavor to predict the method by which thou mightest craft the ultimate key said to unlock the doors to that darkness. Fear not, young Diana. I, the mighty Merlin, chosen by the chosen seer of the goddess herself, shall be thy guide. Thou hast merely go away in my directions. No, thou hast merely to await my directions. <laughs> and some extra chimera wings, which uh, actually makes sense. I never... Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so yeah, that's ba him basically saying he can no longer, no longer feed us. Yeah, let's go ahead and make those other Chimera Wings before I forget. And that ought to take care of everything up there. So the, so well, the Marshroom, they'll basically harvest fungus for you. In the barbecue kitchen, they'll, they'll make food, so with a bit of luck, I won't have to make any more of my own food. And so this guy has a quest for us as well. Tell me, Diana, hast thou heard the prophecy? It tells of the sword that one must feel and the armor one must wear when facing the Dragon Lord. They are known as the Sword of Kings and the Auroral Armor. At last, they have been lost to this world, the both of them. But if anyone can bring these treasures back to life, it is thou, the Blessed Builder. And when thy work is done, wilt thou not need a suitable place to store thy prizes? It would not do you to simply leave them lying about for any passing monster to run away with. There was once such a chamber in this very castle. Yeah, I do believe... 
Yeah, I do believe it was just over there. A stoutly guarded treasury filled with burning treasure chests. But if thou prefers another location, I bow to thy building wisdom. All I ask thou places within its walls, a colossal coffer, one chest, and three treasure chests. Oh, and a pair of bold banners to make the place fit for a king. So if you've not yet unlocked the treasury recipe, that, that is what you need to do with this room. And I should have... I should have big bold banners, but I do need to make some normal bold... Normal, normal bold banners. Shot silken, one gold. Well, the treasure house turns into a treasury. Not quite enough for a level up yet. By my troth, the legend the treasure of Tangel Castle is reborn. Verily, thou art the carpenter of legend. What? Thou art not the carpenter, but the builder. Is that so? A thousand pounds, my good lady. Verily, thou art the builder. <laughs> carpenter of legend. <laughs> The rebuilding of the castle proceeds apace, but how long will it be before we met of Alfgard must needs face the Dragon Lord in battle? The legends tell how sign after sign of the legendary hero did appear in Alfgard, challenging the Dragon Lord to a decisive duel either after, either after other. And each and every time they were slain. All excepting the last, we did accept the Dragon Lord's offer to rule beside him. It is by that hero's default that we find ourselves in this world of darkness. But let us not dwell on our fate. If the legends hold true, yet another sign of the fabled hero will one day appear to us, one who will lay the Dragon Lord low once and for all. I hope that this hero appears sooner rather than later. Hmm? Why frown thou, Diana? Dost thou not agree? And some extra stones. And... Yeah, so... I kind of want to... I just want to put these over the doors. I might be able to inch my way to level 3 just by doing that. I don't, I don't quite know if it'll work. Let's give it a try. I got plenty of stones and coal. Okay. Uh, it doesn't add any points, but at the same time, it looks better. I'll need a few more, but not a problem. And I actually will need some more foundation blocks, too. My dear Diana, I am ever so keen to begin the reconstruction of Tantagel. Unless thou seest, the castle lies in ruins. Verily, I know not where to start. Don't worry, princess, I'm way ahead of you. Thou art well experienced in the art of building. Art, art of building, art thou not? Doth any plan suggest itself to thee? Beg pardon? A throne room on the days? How thou sayest? Verily, the chamber where my father and I once held court was in that very same place. But in these straitened circumstances, I could not possibly ask thee to build a room for me and me alone. Would not be for me alone to rebuild the throne room would serve as a symbol of Tantagel's revival? I see. Well, if restoring the throne room would lend courage to thy people's hearts, then I will gladly oblige thee. Thou art a kind soul, Diana. I thank thee for thy consideration. Here, take this plan of the old throne room. May it aid thee in restoring this castle to its former glory. And that is our next quest. And, on the plus side, nice fit. So, 34 castle foundations, two thrones. Okay, so I need the... I really just need to make a throne. The extra castle foundations. And a couple... And let's make the throne first. I got, I got the columns already from that... From the dragon cave. And also picked one up. Okay, so we got... Yeah, got the two big bold banners. And... Uh, no recipe for a throne? There it is. Okay. Yep, so shot silk for iron ingots and gold. Yeah, the, the banners are the main reason you get all that those shot silks. It's castle foundations. Yeah, I'm going to need about 50, maybe 60 at this point. Fortunately, again, got plenty of stone. And I can just fill in the other walls with cladding. Yeah, there should be enough for... for that other... For that other room, once the time comes. Yep, just set... Yep, set foundations everywhere. enjoy this music while daylight is 
still there. Unfortunately, it is waning. Actually, let's go ahead and fill this in as well. It will change the castle walls when I use the cladding. All right, the two columns, the candelabras, the banners. And I got the other throne. Yep, just uh, just more help on the on the front of going to that uh, side quest dungeon early. And yes, put the coarse cloth away. And everything, candelabras. And last but not least, the steel doors. But I don't quite have enough room for that yet. Uh, let's, let's place the earth first. And this will definitely get our base to level 3. That's another reason why I picked up all that extra earth, and holy cow, I, I'm going to need more before long. Almost, almost there. So the big bold banners. Yep, go on. Now let's uh, apply the cladding first. That magic doors don't need you right now. Need one of our steel doors. like I'm going to need... Yep, I'll have to make more. Fortunately, we're almost done with the rooms. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Candelabrums go between the columns. Oh, one up. Gold banners on this side. Place the columns so they look proper, just for just for consistency's sake. Last but not least, our steel door. So we build the throne room. Easily get to level. Oh, easily, easily level three. Yeah, we'll, we'll more than make up for that in a moment. <laughs> Go ahead and replace our doors. We may, we may even get to level 4 ahead of time with that throne room alone. And no food. That's okay, we do have some extras. your kitchen, in the throne room, and nice little jump. And there's actually one thing that was bugging me earlier, and that's just, that's just me being, being a little anal, you could say. Before I continue on, oh yeah, we'll get to level 4 with the next room easily. Oh, well, yep, we're finally seeing ghosts. When I was re when I was restoring the castle, some tiles and blocks just uh oh. Ow. Ghosts. Yeah, this is the most difficult chapter in terms of, of staying alive. Because again, you don't, don't get as, nearly as many seeds of life early on. And 
And since we did get those from the Drakis, let's put these grass seeds to good use. Just to make it look nice. That's, that's really the only reason why I'm doing this. Well, it's not the same shade, but we'll have to live with it. There we go. How are our trees doing? Not grown yet. Of course, this is the this is still the first technically the first day after we uh, restored the castle. So that's about everything for here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a. Oops, that's that's not a foundation block. But I. There we go. So. Foundation block, sconce, magic door, magic door. There you are. And this one doesn't have to be very big. In fact, yeah, I'll, I'll be tearing this down later on. And. Yep, yeah, gotta use earth for the rest. I gotta have to get more earth. Oh, exactly enough. I will take it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, might as well. Might as well do this. Oh, makes more castle walls. And the cladding. Yeah, this will be enough. And the other nice thing is, I can use this last block rather than a, rather than a piece of cladding. So this is not this is, this isn't tied to a room with the castle, but it's basically a free bonus when I place the next teleportal in there. So that'll be that'll be our, our teleportorium. I'm not quite to level four just yet, but we'll we'll get to it naturally. Oh, I had one more thing I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, uh, get more earth. Go out and get more earth really quick. Easily done. At this point, I am mostly done building th building rooms, building things other than stairways. Did I ever equip my other sledgehammer? Oh, I didn't. I didn't make another one. Thought I made it. Forgot to equip it. Grab a little bit of extra, because the 99 will go into the coffer and the rest I'll hold on to for building. Again, mostly stairways. There we go. That's enough? Oh, okay. I got plenty of lumber, too. I probably don't need, need, even need to harvest my trees. Alright, so... Let's build an extra sledgehammer. We still got some mining to do. And the funny thing is, of course, we got to, we built the castle and basically got got entirely maxed out in one section. So that's why I'm going to, now I'm going to, let's just get to level four right now. Let's just put things down that'll give us extra points. And there we go. <laughs> Already at max level. Oh, that done. That completes the challenge for this chapter. Easiest base to max out. The throne room alone certainly helps. Well, with this, uh, let's go ahead and get organized and continue on with the story. I may need to make one more set of foundation blocks, but for the most part, that's about everything. 
Ah. Uh, I want to check something outside really quick. Yeah, I want to just make a few more medicinal herbs. As well as make the area around the castle look nicer. 20, 20 herbs isn't an, isn't an exaggeration for the next section. And even then, it's mostly on one, on one part. And a few extra healing creams won't hurt either. I get both of these. Excellent. Yeah, if you if you really want to be thorough, at the very least, this little flat section around the castle, go ahead and purify it. And the only downside is, by the time I'm ready for the next section, it'll probably be nighttime again. <laughs> Yep. Uh, we're, we're getting more medicinal old, medicinal leaves just around the castle than we found all, in all of Chapter 3. <laughs> and if I need more holy water, I can make some at the Diviner's Altar. The rest of these, yep, they're fine. All right, just about there. And I'll go ahead and fill the, in the rest of this. Looking good, looking good. And I'll leave those alone. I don't see any other inside to... Oh, never mind. Paid a multiple of three. <laughs> there we go, 13 herbs. And just fill in the flat part here. There we go. So the next quest will hopefully take us through the night. It should be a battle. Get this stuff out of the way, because we will we'll need room to fight. And one other thing to, what, one other thing I can do... Fortify defenses a little bit. Uh, I could place the evil idols. I'm actually going to wait on that. Anyway... Finally talk to the princess and get our next quest. Oh, the other thing. Because they've not harvested any e shrooms yet. I'm going to turn all the rest of them into... into shrooms on a stick and fr uh, frog stools. That should be enough food for most of the rest of the chapter. And the mushroom, they should harvest some new ones. And if I get the materials make, needed to make hell broth, that will come from them. All right, so get organized one more time. Oh, and of course, make our healing items. Don't want to forget that. Anyway, uh, what does the princess have to say first? Oh, Diana, thou hast restored my father's throne room. Verily, a chamber as sumptuous as this shall serve as a fitting symbol of Tatija's revival. If only the warrior who faced the dragon lord of four times had chosen more wisely, such symbols would not be necessary. Instead, he did agree to, fin to the fiend's invitation to rule alongside him, and this world of, world of ruin was born. So heartbroken was I at his betrayal, I turned myself to stone and fell into an eternal slumber. Before thou didst appear and bring up of salvation with thee, the thought that light would ever return to this world was but a distant dream. Oh, and on the topic of bringing hope back to, to Tangigel, the great mother Rubus had appeared to me 
in a vision just before thine arrival. She did tell me of three holy sages who journeyed towards the castle, bringing with them ancient artifacts that will be the key to defeating the Dragon Lord. They traveled to Tetra to fulfill the great goddess's plan, just as thou hast done, Diana. I too must needs play my part. I will keep my ears pricked for any tidings of these sages, and as soon as I know aught of their whereabouts, I will inform thee forthwith. May the goddess speed me in my search. Hey, I'll gladly take a seat of life. And what? Another thing I forgot to do. Okay, this isn't a, this isn't a battle, so. Oh no, Diana! I fear I have no guidance to give thee at this time. In the meanwhile, why not make proof of thy building might by continuing the reconstruction of the castle? Already maxed out, old man. Watch. Much and more must needs be done before Tatagel is restored to its previous glory. I ask only that thou speedest its recovery but a single step further. For after all, oh, by such small steps are epic adventures begun. <laughs> Splendid! Thy building powers become ever stronger, just as I predicted they, would, predicted they would. And yet, despite that, thou art the chosen servant of Almighty Rubus, thou remains a fra ill and fragile child. <laughs> no matter how many monsters thou defeatest, thy martial prowess groweth no stronger. Am I correct in saying that thou hast no notion of time nor hunger before you met the one named Pippa? More curiously still, to assume thou canst see and speak with the dead, a power that eludeth even I. Verily, thou art a strange sort indeed. Hmm? Why looks not so surprised? Didst thou think thyself no different from any other human being? Honestly, Dinah, thy blockheadedness astoundeth me. Though given thy choice of construction materials, mayhap if it should not. <laughs> okay, free seed of life. Okay, let's make our healing items. And one other thing before I forget. I need another flower. Which is easily done. So... Da, 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 da. One pot of healing cream, better than nothing. And plenty of medicinal herbs. And, actually... Yeah, I got extras. Oh, well, let's, uh... Let's plant a coral lily bud and dig that up. Okay, I am, I am fully equipped. There. Everything that extra is nice. Oh, have been a good while since our last save. Yeah, about time for to fight. Diana, my child, I've seen the future, and it is a perilous one indeed. A band of barbarous beasts are to descend upon us any moment now. <laughs> what sayest thou to that, Diana? Do my soothsaying powers not astound and astonish thee? I warrant a warning from a fully fledged seer is a sight more awe inspiring than thou hast heard before. What? Thou couldst not tell the difference? And thou couldst see a battle icon over my head? By the goddess, thy tongue is sharp. But now is not the time for petty argument. The horde of Prothet, Diana, art thou ready for the fray? Aye. This place is but a stone throw from the Dragon Lord's castle, so the monsters are more mighty than elsewhere in Elfgard. I warn thee, Diana, do not let down thy guard. And not only that, there is actually going to be, well, a little bit of a problem. It will manifest itself. Got lots of bloody hands. Thankfully, they can't get into the castle. And I'm going to use a Seed of Life just to stay topped off. Yep, these guys are definitely a bit more er, problematic. Again, the Ring of Criticality makes this much easier. Hey, we got a Newt! If I can find the enemy that drops frogs, we'll be able to make some hell broth. It'll come in handy for the final battle. A ring of criticality. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Unfortunately, that's just phase one. Dragon Lord's double. If you're not at, at high HP, quickly, quickly heal up. Because that uh, light, yep, prevents all item usage. Including placing blocks. They'll let these guys take the damage. Oh, well, oh, crap. He got in! You jerk, I just finished repairing those walls. Hey, Princess, help me out here. 
Thank you, Banner of Hope. And down he goes. Good. Gotta fix that wall before moving on. But we, with that, we get the red teleporter. Let's fix... Let's fix things up before heading in. Why, Diana, I did watch the ESL yes, drove off the monsters. And I must admit, thou just kind of figure most dashing. And as a reward for thy great deeds of arms, thou hast turned another teleportal. Verily, Rumus is watching over thee this day. Diana, dost thou remember how I told thee that the goddess had appeared to me in a dream? And that she did tell me of three holy sages that made their way to this place? Oh, Diana, how couldst thou forget? In short, the great goddess did reveal unto me that three holy sages journeyed towards Tantagel, and that they carry with them three divine artifacts that, when combined, will unlock the door to the Dragon Lord's destruction. While thou wert busy reconstructing the castle, I did occupy myself in searching for the sages. I bade mere little lads and Tristan to depart into the far-flung region of Tantagel and seek out what tidings they could find. And now they have returned to me, no doubt with knowledge of where these sages can be found. Diana, I prithee, find the three sages and ensure they reach the castle safe and sound. Oh, and pray take this with thee, that thou shouldst not lose thy way. Yep, thank you for that, princess. I shall heard the tidings, Diana. A trio of holy sages do make their way towards Tantagel. Or at least they did. They've long since departed from their homelands, but are yet to arrive here. Mayhap they met with some adventure along the way. Following the princess's bidding, I have striven to seek out one of their number. According to Almighty Rumors of Prophecy, these three sages hold the key to defeating the hated Dragon Lord. I have seen into the future, and I know it to be true. Without these sages, our preparations to topple the King of Evil will never be ended. To put it bluntly, if we do not rescue these sages and escort them back to this castle, thy sacred duty as the builder of Alfgard will be rendered an unattainable aim. Don't waste no time, Diana. Follow thy compass and seek out the missing sage, lest thy heroic efforts thus far come to naught. Oh, Diana, did the princess tell thee of her vision? Her majesty was visited by the great goddess herself, who did reveal to her the coming of three holy sages. I, forsooth, the very sages she did it, it, it me seek out. Though it sore shames me as a proud knight of Tantagel to entrust yet another duty to thee, this too was all knowing Rubus's instruction, that we should seek the sages out, but thou must needs escort them to the castle. I will show you where I did cite one of these sages. Regard it well thy compass, Diana, and bring her back to us. Oh, one more. Reading, Diana, thou hast spoken with the princess, I take it. The goddess did appear to her in a dream and revealed to her uh, that three holy sages did journey towards Santagel. But although they were due to arrive in the castle some days ago, they are yet to show their faces. Thus, while thou wert away on thine adventures, the princess did, did bid me seek out their whereabouts. And at long last, I have tracked one of their number down. I shall mark the location of the sagacious character I did espy upon thy compass, Diana. Find her and bring her back to the castle. Now, well, let's go ahead and fix these walls really quick. That's taken care of. Uh, day's about to break, but now's a good time to create an extra mason's workstation to carry with us. Yep. And as for as for Zenithium, yeah, that will <laughs> that will come into play before long. So, put away unneeded stuff for now. Holy water, we're actually not going to need anymore for a good while. Yeah, this is the only this is the only teleport we'll get for the inside of the castle. So the teleportarium doesn't have to be big. And that ghost is probably gonna show up. How are my weapons? Okay, I've still got a full steel broadsword. So Nope. Uh did that ghost die? Oh, I remember. The reason the trees aren't growing is because you have to plant them after. After you place the Banner of Hope. Let's fix that really quick. Yeah, that... I'm going to chalk that up to being a bug. Not that I really need the wood. It's handy to have. And it's funny to see the trees just sprout up and totally engulf the castle walls right there. There we go. Now we'll save and move on. I kind of want to do the I kind of wanted to head out during the day anyway. Uh, 
All right, let's be off and check out the next island. Uh, one sec. <laughs> I realized I didn't put an archway over that door, and it's bugging me. There. <laughs> now we're moving on. <laughs> 